Previously on Dragon Age Origins. This is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. Back to the game. Dang. That guy had a bunch of gear on him. Right. Yep, don't have uh, necessary skills for that. So, where do I find the revered mother? A helpful refugee. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full and those soldiers are being a nuisance. <sighs> Click the wrong Is one. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will over on Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. No problem. I do what I can. And I can what I do. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. Uh, oh, okay. Dang, is there another one already? Dang! Alright, I need to figure out where... If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. We turn none aside, but we, we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. Aye. May he protect us all. Yes, but we can barely keep order in the village right now. We have no men to chase down bandits. Already did. If you like, you can speak to Sir Bryant, but I doubt he'll tell you differently. Hmm. The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. Okay. Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Not since Tern Logain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. Okay. So the revered mother is going to be in here. I'll have to talk to her. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled. Fear and ignorance. Where is she? Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be If I could find you, that would be amazing. Let him rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our unwavering making a donation to the Chantry, my friend. You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I am the revered mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver?
Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary mm. just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Your custody. And who might you be? I am a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. Are you going to say anything? Or are you just going to stare at me? Oh, I got to click and. You okay. have not heard. I, I, I knew that. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. He's responsible. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else. Again, you are quite fascinated with the creature. What do you wish to know? I want him released. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Yes, 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 yes. To defend against the blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Then, perhaps it would be for the best. You have convinced me. Here then. All right. Take the key to the canary's cage and take him away. I pray this is the right path for all our sakes. Okay. All right. And then shall the maker return to the black city. So, note to self: don't pull Grey Warden card. That's good. That's good. That, that's good to have a card so powerful and not be able to um, to use that. That's, yeah. God dang it. Taren Logan, you have caused me so many issues, fool. I should just take you out. Okay, so we'll get him out of here. I'm cold. I don't like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Do you really know what's going on here? The blight, the civil war. I really wonder how much of it you understand. Who, who are you talking to? We're all special. Big parts to play. Even you, especially you in some ways. You are the Mabari. You guard one of the most important people. <coughs> what? <coughs> you... You want to play? But I'm talking. Why doesn't anyone want to hear me talk? <laughs> oh. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Out of one cage and into another. And in what endeavor am I to aid you? You are a Grey Warden. Even in the far north, we have heard the legends of their strength and skill. But I suppose not every legend is true. 
set me oh, free and I ha, will follow ha. you against the blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Hmm. May we proceed? I am eager to be elsewhere. Ah, oh, I gotta choose to get rid of one, huh? I'm keeping Alistair Morgan. That's getting rid of them is out of the question. Oh, I'm so sorry, dog meat. Yes. I need to see. I need to see if he's any good, at least for my party. the party camp okay well let's get back to some missions let's take out some more bandits So hopefully I've made the right decision to bring Sten onto the group. That would be good. Holy mess. Good job, boys. Good job. This should be easy enough. I found a keepsake. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the maker smiles upon its travelers. Okay. And I gotta figure out about. Uh, the bandits taking advantage of the bandits have set up a barricade on the road and law they're in there robbing innocent travelers. Hold on, what do I need to do? Okay. So maybe I can convince them to leave. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to talk to uh, Sarah Bryan about this. I wonder if he can task me with dispatching of them because if I can get tasked with it that'd be so much better than going up there and slaughtering them it'd look better at the very least the canary out of its cage oh indeed I would question this but I have far more pressing matters to deal with misstep creature and it will be your last a canary does not misstep and who are you then Easy. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Some have in recent days. Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn mm. filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? 
No need. I will have it dealt with. Again. Savaral, those fool bandits have returned. Take some men and drive them off and see if you can't capture that leader of theirs this time. As you command, Sir Bryant. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster Ugh. piled on disaster. None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Hmm. Who? Sir... something? Sir Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Yeah, makes sense. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Understand. If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. Mm -hmm. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that, once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Good luck to you. And to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you, Sir Donald. Alright, so... We need to find that. Because I need his help. Oh man, I need... As you oh, wish. I need Arl Eamon's help. I'm about done with Terran Logang. He has destroyed my name before I could even do anything with it. Last thing to do here in town is deal with these bears. Were you really in that cage for 20 days? It might have been closer to 30. I stopped counting after a while. What did you do? I mean, 20 days is a long time to sit in one place and do nothing. On good days, I posed riddles to the passers-by, offering them treasures in exchange for correct answers. Really? No. Ah, oh, too bad. That's got serious potential. <laughs> ah. Big guys. They should be easy
Was that it? I'm honestly kind of disappointed now. That was a little too easy. Hmm. Tis a shame that it was so easy. I prefer more of a challenge. Well, that should wrap up my quest in Lothering. 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 However you want to pronounce it. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. That was a very long and complicated way to tell me thank you. Alright, well that looks like... That looks... That looks about it. I've done just about everything. That I can find at least. In this place. bandits gone they need to be gone they are still here oh uh, back are you I thought we settled things nice and amicably with you wardens about what we're just you know greeting travelers actually it's more refugees <laughs> yes fine life's hard all over Nothing of concern to you Grey Wardens. Well, uh, we don't want trouble, so yes, we'll do that. Thank you for sparing us. But you said these refugee types was easy pickings. There are better pastures elsewhere, you fool. Uh, time to go. He is glowing red. It scares me. Okay, so they're dealt with. That's where I want to go now. How do I leave? Assuming I have to get back on this road again. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. You know, you never did tell me how you passed the time in that cage for so long. No, I didn't. So, what did you do in there? A training exercise. I would observe an object and then try to think of all the words in your language which began with the same letter as its name. That? Wait, just wait. You're joking again, aren't you? No. You are not telling me that you played I Spy against yourself for 20 days? There are a lot of things in Lotharin that begin with G. Right. Uh, uh. Why is there a dead Templar up here? I may not like him much, but he still shouldn't be dead. Oh, wait, hold on, I pulled up the wrong screen. Hold on. God dang it. Let's go talk to Sarah Bryant. He might know what I, what's going down with this. That was his friend, now, wasn't it? What can I do for you? Oh. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. 
but I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Alright, let's get a moving. That should be all now. This should be easy enough. Hmm. Wow. That sucks. Well, let's get a moving. Let's go traveling, Sten. Hmm. I spy with my little eye something that begins with G. Is it a great warden? Is it in fact you? Oh, you're really good at this. <sighs> <laughs> There's my exit. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Someone help us! No. Timely arrival there, my friend. Okay. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer. But there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Con. Thank you for all your assistance. On it. Blood mage? Why is there a blood mage out here? Demon. Let me guess, a dream. Bad dreams, huh? Um, I think your seat is broken. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, Nice Part of shot. being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually Good. you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, <laughs> you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Awesome. 
Hey, there's the, the dwarves. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Is dog me. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins. Levy the trader. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see... Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Wow. That's, uh... Yeah, that's a bit drastic. And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run. Hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Mm. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Soldier's Peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. All right. 